Award-winning Afro-jazz uh, musician Jeff Maloleka has just released a single titled Niti La Yile and is working on putting together an album that will be released later this year. His return to the music scene comes after him losing his mother, sister and his voice for six years. It was during this difficult time of his life that he came up with a single and this morning he joins us in studio. A very good morning and welcome to Morning Live. Thank you very much for having me. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank, thank you, you, Mr. Thank Maleleke. You. So explain to us, losing your voice for six years. Yeah, you know, one of those things, you know, um, you know, life has got a lot of surprises. You know, I was doing a lot of performances um, <clears throat> back in the years and uh, there was a time where I lost my mom and uh, I think I never grieved by uh, that time because I was the, the on, only uh, son who was left. So I had to be strong for the whole family. So, you know, I had a lot of depression then. You know, I, I just went through a lot. But, uh, you know, uh, after a while, you know, I just healed bit by bit. And now I'm fine. Uh when you say that you lost your voice, was it just you couldn't hit the notes that you used to hit before? Yeah, definitely. I could not hit the notes. My voice was just flat. I could not even um, uh, pitch the, the, wow. the, 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 the high notes. So I could not even express myself the way I used to. You know? And even my wow. friends could hear you know, when I do some of my events then that, no, this is not Jeff. And I decided to be off stage then you know so that i can um, try to heal and relax and go to the um, a doctor and consult and you know it took a long time because you know the 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 the, the, the um, throat infection uh, was severe you know because also i overstrained my voice as well yeah she was and how did you survive as an artist during that time uh you know um God is great, you know, there is always a way, you know. Um, I used to, I mean, I, I write songs and um, also I, um, I worked at, at, I mean, I had this found, uh, foundation in uh, Bush Bakrish Music Academy, so I had to give back to my community, you know. Um, you know, that's, that's, you know, uh, that's how, you know, I, I was uh, surviving, you know. But I was not making money with my foul, foul I had money that I saved over the years that sustained me as, as, as well, yes. So when you came back onto the music scene, do you think you returned as a completely, not only different musician, but also a completely different man? Definitely. You know, when you uh, go through a tough time, you know, it trains you, it makes you a better person. And I think God allows us to go through a tough time, you know, so that you can grow, you know, you get some, uh, some experience so that you can learn something and then so that when you get back and then you are a better person. Talk to us about your recent tour to Mozambique. Yeah, it's a great experience. You know, um, I was in Mozambique the rest of <coughs> the whole of last year, 2019. And I was, um, I, uh, <coughs> I, did, I did a tour in um, Nyambane province, I did a tour in Beira, I did a tour in Tanzania, okay. and even, I mean, right in Maputo. So there are a lot of events uh, that I, 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 a lot of events that I actually uh, did uh, more than 35 shows last year. Wow, yeah. okay. Uh, you've got the album, it's planned to be released between March and April. How's it going? Yeah, um, I'm busy writing songs and my manager is uh, putting uh, the whole uh, plan for, for me and support and supporting the project, uh, Mr. Stephen Makong Makongela, the young man from um, Kiani. You know, he's given me a lot of uh, support. And my album will be ready in March. And I think uh, we have recorded about five songs at the moment. But Nitila Ile, it's already out. And there's a video, it's out there. And then, end of January, it will be out there. Can you tell us what the message behind it is? <laughs> Nitila Ile, you know, it's about a young man who, you know, meets this beautiful young lady and then he gets. Uh, uh, so excited and rushed to get married even before he gets to know the lady. And after three months down the line and then he is married and after then he gets disappointed that they, his um, wife uh, uh, cheat on him with his friend. You know, so it is one of those things. Uh, 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 um, 
But don't get uh, overwhelmed when you meet a lady. Take time to know her. <laughs> don't rush things. Don't rush into things. So as an Afro jazz artist, how would you classify the sound of the single? Yeah, the sound of the single, I think I can say it's music, you know. I don't like to classify a lot, you know. Uh, let people classify what you do, but I do music. You know, it's African because I'm an African, you know, I'm in Africa. And uh, the sound is more of Afro-pop, you know, it has got different elements. Reggae, fusion, it's fusion, it's Afro-fusion. Lovely. In and, short. And, you've, and you've released it online. Was there a reason why you took this route? Yeah, I think now, you know, um, uh, the times we are living in now allows us to work and release music on our own. Yes, we do need uh, record labels, but it's not always that you do need uh, record labels because everything you can do it digitally. All right, lovely stuff. That was award-winning musician. Uh, Jeff Maloleke talking to us about his return to the music scene after six years. Thank you so much for coming on to Morning Live and chatting to us. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And go and listen to the brand new single where the message is, if you're in love and you're enamored by somebody, do not rush it. Niti Laila is the brand new single available online. Um,